Let's begin with the cell wall. In the city, the cell wall that surrounds the city protects the city from items outside, just like the cell wall provides protection and structure to the cell. Next, the cell membrane is represented by the doors because the cell membrane is a semi-permeable membrane that regulates what moves in and out of the cell. Next, you can see the cytoplasm in the middle of the city. It is the water found in the city. Because the cytoplasm is a gel-like material that contains important nutrients and the other organelles are suspended in. Next up is the nucleus. The nucleus is represented by the city hall because it controls the activities of the cell. Like the nucleus has all the directions and blueprints of the cell because it contains the DNA. The endoplasmic reticulum, or ER, is represented by the roadways of the city. Because the roadway, the ER acts like passageways and roadways in order to move materials around the cell. Ribosomes are small factories. Because the ribosomes are the sites where proteins are made, they are protein factories. The mitochondria are represented by these power plants because the mitochondria generates energy for the cell in the process called cellular respiration. The vacuoles are storage containers because vacuoles store food and water for the cell. The lysosomes are small trash cans because they break down waste material. And finally, the chloroplasts are represented by small solar factories that convert sunlight to energy. I may not have included every organelle you needed, but you can use your imagination and come up with some. I hope this mnemonic device helps for you memorizing the cell organelles. Thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math and Science uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.